What's up, everybody? Back working on the Renegade again. Uh, putting some fog lights in today. Gotta fix this bracket. It's a little bent and broken. Gotta get some old, old mounts out. This one as well. Jeep needs a wash, as you can see. That bracket's still in there, but we gotta get this out. Uh, but, got the new fog lamps. Harbor Fright Specialty. And they are gonna fit quite nicely. That's really gonna clean the front end of this thing up quite a bit, actually. Nice little plate for, filler plate for in the middle there, and be in good shape. First things first, you got this little bit of bracket left right there, and uh, there's not really much of a nut holding it on, so I gotta try to get that off. All right, so correction. There's not much of a nut there because that is what looks like a speed clip or a locking tab. And the whole plastic fender flare will need to come off in order to get to the bolt in order to get to the bolt on the other side. And I really don't feel like taking that part off today. I might try and weld that just right under there. Because all I gotta do is tack weld it back onto this bracket and pretty much call it a day. Clean everything up. Cut the bolt out of that bracket, bent the bracket back into shape, roughly, bolted it back in, did one of the absolute dirtiest welds ever, but it's solid, and it's just holding a fog lamp in place, so it doesn't have to be crazy. Uh, now we just got to get the bolt cut out of the other side, or hopefully unbolted rather than cut, that would be nice. Uh, we'll snip the ends off the factory connectors, and then do up the fog lamps. And this bracket's all bent up too, actually. But let's just hope we can get, that's a different size nut. And it's the 
stone. Okay. Back to the cutting wheel. I think they're actually supposed to sit a little forward like that. That's about right. From all the renegade pictures I've seen, but we need some bigger washers back here. Because that's going to go right through. All right, so got a couple of washers to put up in there. Nice big fat ones. The brackets for these things are all bent out of whack, but fog lamps are installed. Just need to wire them up. But man, all this thing needs now is a bath. What a night and day difference. It really doesn't look like a complete piece of crap anymore just by filling in those holes. <laughs> Shell doesn't like me calling her Jeep a piece of crap. I like working on this piece of crap, though. <laughs> so I can only assume... Uh, given by what we see that Michelle's Jeep was in a front-end collision at some point uh, That would explain why we had to change the front bumper out why it's missing the factory front bumper cover why the fog lamps are missing why they were the brackets are all bent up uh, the plastic cover that says Jeep so Luckily it wasn't too damaging a uh, impact whenever it was with whoever it was but uh slowly getting it back together finished off the fog light installation by snipping off the factory connectors and just installing these barrel style connectors which are nice because easy enough to take apart and put back together and they offer a little more weather protection than the blade style connectors and I saved the factory ones so that if we ever find a set of factory lights to go in there not that we need them but if we do we can always wire them right back in <laughs> 